everyone, it's Sarah again from Sweet Glamour Makeup. Today I'm going to be doing a haul and review of the Daphne Guinness Collection for MAC. And um, this collection features beautiful colors. Uh, my especially favorite product that they have launched, are, um, or re-promoted I should say, are the blush ombres. This is something that everybody should have because it has two contrasting colors and um, there's a pink and a purple side. The purple side um, some people might be scared about but once you actually mix it with the pink it doesn't make it quite as purple so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this on me. It does give you a cool tone blush but it's good for any complexion um, I mean I imagine if you use a purple side it might be a little too much but when you mix it it's just the right color so this was um, <clears throat> previously launched and it also features the vintage grape ombre which mine is broken unfortunately but um just don't drop it. Very easily broken, so kind of sucks, but oh well. This one is definitely a lot deeper, and I will try this just to kind of layer it what I have on top. So if I look scary, then don't mind me. This will give you a nice um, plum color. I kind of look like I got punched in the face, but, uh, you know, I'm a little heavy-handed with blush anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> so, okay, anyways, I wanted to compare another blush that was similar, which is almost a combination of the um, blush ombre, Azalea Blossom. This is Two Virtues Mineralized Blush. And I would say that the biggest difference is going to be the shimmer. So there's Azalea Blossom and that one. And this is a gorgeous one too, but this you can look like a glitter bomb if you put too much. So I like this because it's softer and gives you more of a satiny, more matte type finish. Um, also, I have the Ripe Peach, which I really wish they would have relaunched with this as well. But it probably wouldn't have went so much with this particular collection. But this is one of my all-time favorite blushes. It's like a um, coral pinkish orange tone blush. Which is, it creates a beautiful peach color that just, it really warms up the skin tone. So hopefully they will relaunch this one maybe next year or the following. Another thing I got from the collection <clears throat> is the Interior Life Palette. And this one is about $38. You get the four colors, and these, I believe, all three are satin finishes, and one is a Velux Pearl, which is the darker one. This one reminds me of a deeper shade of Night Divine. It's definitely more of a gray tone, a dark gray tone, than a silvery blue like Night Divine. And these are kind of similar colors to previous quads, but they're still different enough to justify owning this one as well. So there's the back of it. And uh, this one's nice because it doesn't have so much shimmer, so it's for a better, more matte smoky eye where you don't have too much glitter, sparkle. Um, it's really actually a good day to night palette because you could use the daytime colors, the lighter colors for daytime, and then just add this, the darker, to smoke it up a bit more. Also, I really like this color to smudge underneath for eyeliner. So I really like that, and then I got this lipstick, which is Warp Speed. Pro Longwear. This is kind of a unique color. It's like a light, silvery, opalescent lipstick. 
And I think that this shade is going to be too frosty to wear on its own, so I would recommend actually using it as a highlighter, maybe applying it in the center of the lip. That will just give you a little bit of a brighter appearance on the lips. By itself, I think, like I said, it'll be too frosty and will probably wash you out. So, mostly is a highlighter. And I think that's about it for the Daphne Guinness collection. Um, it is limited edition, of course, so if you do like any of the products, I would recommend getting it, especially the blush ombres. These are going to sell out like they did in the previous collection. So definitely worth the $28. So thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please uh, leave it in the comment section. And also subscribe because I will be having plenty of new hauls and reviews coming up. Thanks guys, bye!